voice is growing weaker. I can yell louder than you can, you little crud. His irritability is increasing. I'm not a little crud, Pops. My irritability is increasing. Stop writing in that book. I'm writing facts that may save millions of lives. Well, you should be proud. Your name's in the title. I call it simply The Death of Captain Morton. The Death of... Why, Jimmy? You don't touch this book, Daddy Boy, and you'll regret it. Those sharks were around this morning while you were asleep, and I pulled your hand out of the water. I might just forget next time. Don't fight it, Pops. You're going to be famous. How many guys get a chance to die on paper? I am not dying! The Navy's called off the rescue planes. And, Mr. Lesseur, you're still commanding officer. Doc, Bruno wants to speak to you. Doc, can I go back on duty? I gotta do something. Even a metal nut can work cargo, can't he? Wait outside a minute, Bruno. You too, shoddy. Gentlemen, the guards have given this ship a short reprieve. By tomorrow morning, the captain may be back aboard. But the Navy's given them up for lost. A Navy doesn't know its captain from a hole in the ground, and you evidently don't know Pulver. The captain's coming back, I can feel it in my bones. And I'm going to bring this ship to life before he does. Doc, I never heard you talk like this. Oh, yes, you have. I've talked all my life. But this time, with your permission, old Doc is going to do something. Bruno! Bruno! Yes, sir. Our captain here just told me that he's issuing orders for you to... hitch a ride on that plane back to the States for a seven-day leave with your wife. Well... You heard what the doc said. Go pack your gear. I'm going home! I'm going home! <laughs> now hear this. Now hear this. This is your commanding officer speaking. The following changes of orders will be strictly and rigidly observed. Honor about 1,400 hours today. This ship will leave this island and proceed to Elysium Island for cargo assignment. While in that port, all members of this crew will take full advantage of the liberty privileges on this island. <laughs> Shirts is not mandatory on deck. Swimming hours commence immediately. In the meantime, get your tails off the deck and make hay while the sun shines. Number 10, and we're starting. 
Captain. Lay off of the water. You can have rations when I give them to you, and that's an order. I'm the captain from now on. You little punk. You ain't nothing and you never will be. You ain't half the man my son was. You know what happened to him? Got a fancy job, saved his money, and bought a house and tried to give it to me to retire in. You know what I done? Picked him up by the scruff of the neck and threw him out through the door. You never told me you had a son. I ain't got no son. I throwed him out. That's what I'll do to you, too. You try to give me rations like there was a handout. Don't you threaten me, Pops. I was tougher than you are when I was seven years old. My mother used to work as a chambermaid for a guy who thought he could give me things. He offered me toys so I wouldn't squeal on him to his wife. One morning he came out of my mother's room and he said, here's a little sailboat for you, kid. Say, please, sir. Thank you, sir. Uh, you can't have it. You say, please. Then my mother came out, knelt down and whispered. She said, for the love of God, honey, say please or mama will lose her job. I kicked him in the shins, ran upstairs and told it all to his wife. And he threw me and my mother and what few things we had right out in the middle of the street. Standing there holding on to my mother's hand, I decided I was going to become so important that I'd never have to say please or thank you to no living soul. And I went to sea, worked like a dog, and finally done all right for myself. War come along and made me more important. Never got no sailboat, but I got me a ship. The commander's captain waiting for me. Think you're tough? Think you can give me orders? You wait, Pops. We'll see who's tough. You can have a swig of water now. I don't need it now. My wife left me, and, and then, uh, uh, Keep talking. I can. Yes, you can. Think about nice things. Think about women. <laughs> like the day my teacher caught, caught the girl at the desk in front of me rubbing my leg with a big art gum eraser. It wasn't my fault. They were all loose women, all of them. Who, your teacher? No. The neighbor women, after my wife left, they kept winking at me and getting me all stirred up. And then and they blamed me for what happened. Someday I'm going to go back to that town sober, and I'm going to show them a thing or two out there. I thought, I thought you told me you never took a drop. Stop spying on me. Are you afraid to drink, Captain? I'm not afraid of breaking or letting or any kind of weakness. Give me that rope. Give me that rope. Give me that rope. That interesting? Turn of events. The captain is a compulsive woman chaser. That's why he won't touch liquor. He's afraid of his feelings.
Wake up, Pops! We're dead! Sure, that stuff's not poison? I mean, you're not friendly with the Japanese or anything, are you? Where is this island, anyway? Gremus. Gremus. Okay, boys. Gremus. 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 <laughs> Holy crud! What do you ferment, people? You make stronger jungle juice than they did on the ship, honey. Oh, um, ma'am? Do you have a boat around here? A uh, boat. No. Um, we got to get back to our ship. No, stop that. Um, my fat friend is sick. Friend, what am I saying? <laughs> Jesus want me for a sunbeam to shine for him each day. Hmm. Apples, bright apples, are rosy and red, but turned into cider, a humble instead. Hmm. Me father learned from missionary, me teacher. Apples, bright apples... Yoga! You swim all the way from airplane? Airplane? Eh? Where? Oh, over there. in a storm and didn't crash. Huh. All the life rafts seem to be gone. You sure there's no American soldiers around here? Nah. Who lives on that island? Wild pigs. Ooh, 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 Logar. Ooh. Can pigs build fires? Huh? Come on. Now, come on, one side, girls. Mother has work to do. Come on, babies. Scotty! Scotty! Is that a, a boat? Be careful, they may be fierce savages. Anybody here? We saw your fires and... Oh, no. Possible. It's too grotesque. Hiya, Buster. Welcome to Paradise Island. Now, what can we do for you? We? Sure. Me and my girl here. Me, Tarzan, her Jane. Me, Cheetah. We saw the other nurses being picked up by a ship. <laughs> 